What is going on guys? My name is Senna and welcome back to another video. If you're not able to get good FPS in Valorant and experience frame drops, input lag, and anything like that, you've come to the right video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fully optimize your PC and Valorant to run the best. I personally get 1000 FPS in the range and usually average about 300 FPS in game. I used to struggle to even push 200 FPS and experienced a lot of frame drops, but once I did all of these optimizations and tips and tricks, my game is running way, way better. Also, I'd like to apologize in advance for my voice during this video. My throat is feeling a little bit raspy, so that's why I sound weird. Anyways, guys, if any of these tips and tricks do help you, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this. I'm going to stop rambling and just get straight into the tutorial. Now, here's the bottom line that you need to understand. Valorant is a CPU bound game. This means that the game's performance, frames, everything like that is heavily reliant on your CPU. I personally use the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 8 core processor and it's pretty reliable and I would recommend it. These optimizations can only go so far and if you have an extremely outdated CPU, I would recommend upgrading it. But even if you do have an older processor though, these tricks will still help you a lot. With all that said, let's get into the first tip. First thing you're going to want to do is find where Valorant is installed and find the Valorant.exe application. Once you're here, right click on the application and click properties. Find the compatibility tab and click on it. Now check the box that says disable full screen optimizations. Full screen optimizations are not good and I would highly recommend you keep this off. Now click change high DPI settings. Make sure that override high DPI scaling behavior is checked off and it is performed by the application. That's all we needed to change here so you can now close out of this. Next up, let's check to see if you have Xbox Game Bar on. Go into your Windows settings and click on the Gaming tab. Make absolutely sure that Xbox Game Bar is turned off. This will chew up your FPS. Some people use Xbox Game Bar to clip things from their games, but I would recommend using Shadow Play or anything else instead. While you're on this page, click on Game Mode and make sure that Game Mode is turned on. With this setting on, Windows will automatically optimize some settings for gameplay. We're now done with this page so you can click out. Next thing you're going to want to do is click on your Windows key to pull up the search bar and type in graphic settings. Make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. This will improve your latency and increase performance. Note that you will need to restart your PC for this setting to take effect. Don't worry about restarting your PC right after you change it though because we're going to be changing a lot of stuff and once we're completely done you can then restart it. While you're here, you might notice a setting underneath that called Graphics Performance Preference. What you're going to want to do here is click on that Browse button. Find where Riot Games is installed and follow along with me. You're going to want to click Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and find Valorant Win64 Shipping. Once you've found this, double click on it. It should now pop up under Graphics Performance Preference. When it's here, click on it and click Options. Make sure that you have it set to high performance. You can also add the Valorant EXE application here too and set that to high performance as well. Now that you've done that, we can click out of this page as well. Next up, click on your search bar and look up Power and Sleep. Once you're in your power and sleep settings, look at the right side and click on additional power settings. Once here, under the performance plans, click on high performance. This will optimize your power settings to get the best performance. You can now exit out of this and go to your Windows settings. Once you're in your Windows settings, click on update and security and then delivery optimization. Make sure that allow downloads from other PCs is not enabled. Now close out of this and open up task manager. Once you're in task manager, click on the startup tab at the top. All of the applications in this list that have enabled written next to them mean that these apps will open up as soon as you launch your PC. I personally hate this and it can lead to other applications that you don't need running in the background chewing up some of your performance. I would personally recommend disabling everything and just opening up stuff when you need it. 
Now that you've done all of that, let's open up NVIDIA control panel. First thing you wanna do in NVIDIA control panel is click set up G-Sync and make sure that G-Sync is turned off. G-Sync and V-Sync are both pretty bad for Valorant and I would recommend keeping both of those settings off. Next up, click on adjust image settings with preview. Once you're on this page, click use the advanced 3D image settings. Now click on manage 3D settings right underneath that tab. You can copy my settings if you want, but I'm just going to tell you the big ones that I would recommend. I have all anti-aliasing off. I have CUDA GPUs on all. I have low latency mode on ultra. Make sure you change your monitor technology to fixed refresh. Make sure your OpenGL rendering GPU is on the correct GPU. Power management mode, make sure this is set to prefer maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate, make sure this is on highest available. And go to texture filtering quality and make sure this is on high performance. Also make sure that triple buffering and vertical sync are both off. You can now close out of this and congratulations, you have fully optimized your PC. Now let's open up Valorant and change some settings there. These are the in-game graphic settings that I would recommend you use. First off, go to your in-game settings and click on the video tab. Make sure your frame rate isn't capped at anything too low. If you have a 144Hz monitor, you want to make sure you're getting at least 144fps. If you're on 240, you want 240, and so on. I have my frame rate uncapped because this works best for me. Find what FPS settings best suits your PC and your refresh rate and go from there. Go down to the very bottom of the page and make sure that NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is on plus boost. This will make it so that you will experience less input lag. Next up, go to your graphics quality and make sure that the top setting, multi-threaded rendering, is on. This will allow the game to use more threads in your CPU and make the game run better. After you make sure that's on, I would turn everything else in the graphics quality as low as possible. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to getting as much FPS as I can, so I don't really care how my game looks, but this is more personal preference than it is anything else. And I think that about does it for all of the settings in game. You can now restart your PC for all of those changes that we made in the Windows settings to take effect. Once your PC starts back up, congratulations, you now have a much, much more optimized setup. If you're still here at the end of the video, I would just like to say thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that these settings really do help you out. I'm really passionate about helping other people have the best experience they can, otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them down in the comment section so I can reply to you. With all that being said, guys, I just want to thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Peace out.